Hello everyone. I just made this video to try to show you a calculator I made. It was kind of a sort of a conclusion of all what I learned from C. Not all, I like maybe a part of it. I also created a stock market game where you can invest and pretty cool. I also uh, created a map game using and all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool. So that's this is the power of C and this is like beginner. Uh, I used a um a tutorial on how to write C on YouTube and I also used a bunch of books I got from the library and three fast forward three months later and I created a calculator and all these games. So let me explain you my code. So void continued that's just so we can continue for the code. At first I had a really bad calculator where it just said where you have to like we have to close out after doing one calculation and it couldn't it just it just couldn't it was just it you it was so inefficient so I, cr I decided to make it better by using this continued function where it says what's your like so it stores a character that's you continue I use a user input for scanf and I use an if else statement to ask do you want to continue Con probably better to say do you do you want to continue why for yes and for no and then a new line I create a new line there um, and then I scan for a character remember besides besides an array you'll always need an ampersand for the scan f for gets which is another way for user input but um I just combine with puts you you don't need an you just need it you can just say whatever you, so I could just say gets if I wanted to use gets, I could just say answer, get answer. So that's another way, that's another user input. Then for my if statement, oh, let me just, um, it, um, it asks if it's Y or capital Y, maybe some people might, might want to use a cap, capital Y for some reason. Go back to the main function. And then if it oh, if, if they say no, then just then they say thank you for using my calculator and it can exit out. So let's go up. Now let me explain. And then for void continue for whenever you make a function, you always have to create say this at the top for as kind of like a warning. So it main this is this is where it automatically when the computer when you run the compiler and turns that code to ones and zeros, it goes automatically to int main. Sorry, that was just my friend. Uh, if you hear that, if you didn't, then just ignore that. So, A is, um, character A is just, um, what, what math operator you want to use. And, uh, so this is the interesting part for addition. I was able to use the heap so that I was, uh, so I can create an, um, so I can ask, actually ask the user how much numbers they want to add. 10, then they could write 10 numbers. I use this using the heap. So I created a pointer, float times point. So I created, uh, this is for my for loop. So, and then this is the total for the addition. So, here, if it's addition, then you'll scan it for any um, integer of how much they want to add. Obviously, I, can't, I wouldn't use a float because how could they add 3.5 numbers? So, I, I wonder how it would be. I might try it later. So, this is a heap function where it, it, the heap basically gives you an amount of it reserves an amount of space for how much you want to, how, for that the integers so you type cast it first just to make sure they're all floats then you use this function malloc and showing then multiplying how many whatever how many integers they want it how many numbers they want to add times the size of what of the float we're going to assume they're using floats because we don't want it we don't want just integers like three four five and six we don't actually want floats like 3.5 3.4.556 like any anything like that my for loop is, um, i i made it i zero less than how many which was in here how much they wanted to add and then uh, every time it goes through the for loop it, add, it adds i for loops are good for these kind of things because you can you don't have to because if I have, had i use a while loop for this i would have to say while um i is less than how many then um then that would be a lot more complicated because then up here in i i would have to say int i is equal to zero and then I would have to say i plus plus inside what the while loop, which it's so much easier just in the for loop just to say just to say all that in in, in between the bracket uh, in between the parentheses. Here I scan for user input for floats, store that in in um 
the uh, points, which was which were pretty much all the adding and all that. Total plus equals points. The points, so you're adding all the points together. And uh, the sum is percent F total. So now that will, that's pretty good. You might be wondering why am I not doing this from any of the other things? Because there's no such. I I already tried this already. And uh, if you have any, um, if you if you can have any suggestions on how I can prove this, like how I can make this for all mine, I'll I'm welcome to that. So if, if I do multiply S, um, multiply equals, it won't work. I tried that already. So I just used to stick stuck to write your first number, write your second number, and multiplying same for, for subtracting and for division. For power, it was pretty cool. The same thing, but you use the power function. And I just want to point out, I included all these math functions in MathH, that function there. So I pretty much created the power, and then I used absolute value by using abs, which is a function, which is also the function from the MathH function um, function that I um, MathH thing I included here. Um, uh, um, this is the same for square root, the number we want to square root, and square. And then I use again a function called square root. Now for random, I wanted I wanted to see. I just want. I was pretty curious. I was like, one day on on a random sa Saturday, I was like, I was just wondering. I want to make this cooler, so I decided to make uh, random numbers and um, either add them, subtract them, multiply them, depending on the uh, random operator which I use here. And the thing for random is. Why am I doing this plus one? Does that mean I want 2,001 numbers um, from 0 to 2,001? No, I want it from 0 to 2,000, but because of percent 2,000, it actually does 1,999, one less than 2,000, so I have to add one to make it 2,000. Same with that, the math operator. I want four math operators. And then I, um, and then, um, and the sum, product, difference, power, or if it wasn't any of those, if um, it was maybe zero, and then square root them, and and if and for this, I just used, I just did this for like if um like if they put some weird thing like b like x and which is not part of any of them, a uh, part of any of these operators, then go put a valid question. I will say that, and it says continue. It references the continue, so the computer will go here to continue and chart. Look at answer. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? And now let's test this calculator out. So for this, I want to use a random number. And cool. I want to continue. I want to again use a random number. Cool. I want to continue. I want to use square root. So what's square root? S again. Okay. Thirty-four seven point six five. Yes. Continue power four point five five power six. And I want to continue. So yes. Um, I want to do. The reason I include this here is because they might forget. They probably overrate this, so I just want to remind them again. I want to multiply six point seven seven times six point seven seven point seven seven. And cool. Did you find a large number? Yes, I want to continue. Now I want to show you the addition. I can add five numbers here. 5.5, 5.78. 5 Maybe, oh, I can't see. 8.909, and 102.56. And cool. So now I don't want to continue. No, let's, I want to show app. I'm going to show all of them, so yeah, I'll continue. Um, B for absolute because A I can't use A it's already taking an addition so I'm just gonna use the second letter B. So I'm gonna subtract four by a hundred point seven eight no not seven eight nine zero by four and that's nine nine uh oh I have to use a percent I have to use a float for that I want to continue division oh put a five question though I want luckily I have that. I want to continue to divide 4.3 by negative 9. Cool. And I want to continue with the last one subtraction 5.6. Whoops, I think I said no for that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. My cool calculator there, and thank you. Dude. And ask any questions or any, um, tell anything about how it might. 
make make it mine how I can make mine better. I'll be open to that. I that'd be cool. So thank you.